What's up everybody, LazyWolf452 here and I got a video request. I'm surprised I didn't even think about this one, but let's go ahead and get to it. I just had somebody in my YouTube discussion forum asking if I can do a unroot of my LG G3. Well, to be honest with you guys, I really don't want to do this, but for you fans out there, I got no other choice since I still don't have my G4. My G3 right at the moment is my main device to make phone calls and stuff. And, um, but since it's like late at night, nobody's not going to bother me. I went ahead and backed up my G3 and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this video for you guys. I don't feel like you're being a bother or anything like that. Feel free to ask me a question. Ask me a question anywhere you like. XDA, Facebook, the Facebook discussion forum. And if you think, oh, you're going to be a bother, well, here's something funny for you guys right here. But I got a moron who sent me that a long time ago. Hate comment. Okay, well, big deal. Hate comment. And you guys can come in my discussion forum and uh, you guys can take a look at it. Uh, don't worry about this whole line of text here. I just gave this dude a step-by-step uh, -step guide, but apparently uh, I think it's a dude or a woman. If you're a woman, I apologize. If you're a dude, and what's up brother? If you're a girl, what's up sis? So don't freak out and go, We'll have to go to your discussion forum. No, what you guys see there at the bottom will be in the video description. But, um, ask me any question. It's no big deal. So, if you guys are afraid that you're bothering me, don't. Just ask. If I see Micro coming off in a bad day or whatever, you guys are more welcome to go, What's up? You seem a little down or whatever. Uh, such and such happened or whatever but right now I took a nap when my first video was being processed and I got this so I'm like okay I, I really don't want to but I'll go ahead and I'll do it since I got now I got the time to work on my phone to show you guys how to unroot it first thing is you guys are going to do is you need to get the LG flash tool once you uh, get in here, you'll see where you can get the LG Flash Soul, which is this download link right here in Mediafire. We'll see if it works, because I was stripping everywhere for that 47A KDZ, and I have dead links every fucking where. And I'm like, what the hell? So, I haven't checked these links. I was doing with other things at the moment so once you get that downloaded we're going to move on over to the vs985 support uh this is actually from the lg website and uh where do you get the drivers i haven't even messed with it all right here usb driver you come in here and you download for windows if you're running on windows if you're running on mac we'll get it on mac and sadly i'm on windows 8 so don't sit there and Hey Laser, can you do a Mac version? I wish I had a Macintosh, but I don't. I love to play around with those, but no experience, and uh, they're just too much money. I don't have that kind of money to get a Mac. All right, so once you get the drivers and get them installed, I'm gonna give you guys a direct link to this. It took me forever to find this. I should have saved the page where I got this so you guys can thank the people who provided a uh, 47A image. So, if they see this video on XDA and they go, Hey, uh, why did you give them direct link? Why didn't you send them our post? I was running short on time, working on a video and doing other things, and I, I didn't even think about it. I was trying to help that guy out. Uh, but whenever I do, I'll squeeze it down in the description, but this took me forever to find. It was like pulling teeth. I don't know why 47A is really painful to find. Uh, but when you go here... We're going to download the VS9857A underscore one underscore so on. Just download it. Um, I don't even know where my hard drive is. You know what? I'm going to have to disconnect my 
G3 because I have to have my webcam connected to my laptop because for some reason Camtasia Studio doesn't want to uh, record through my computer's mics very well. I don't know what's wrong with them. They sound all muffy like. So I have to use the webcam to catch the sound, but the, main, the webcam is not going to be the main thing. Uh, this microphone right here is my main microphone. I had it facing the other, wrong way. Alright, so I will be right back. I gotta dig those files out. I didn't even think about getting it because I'm getting thrown off with questions and stuff. So yeah, this video is going to be edited. Um, but we will return here to my desktop where everything's going to be thrown at. Or are we going to be lucky in here? Well, Flash Tool is the only thing I'm going to be lucky with, but the KDZ file is the thing that I'm not going to be lucky. I'm not going to do the 10B KDZ because of, um, you guys might be on Marshmallow. If you want to return this phone or warranty reasons, you're going to have to throw the thing on Marshmallow because they're going to do it for you. So, I will be right back. Alright, and we're back. Um... First thing is, you guys got to plug in your LG G3. And like always, if it's powered on, you're going to need to power it at all. Unplug it, power it off, and turn off the phone. And when, as soon as you plug in the phone, you need to get ready to hit that, well, you got to hold that up button. So as soon as you plug it in, hold down the up button. You'll see it going into download mode. That's what you should see. So while your phone's in download mode, or loading it up, we're going to go ahead and run the flash tool. We are going to look for a KDZ file. Now to let you guys know, I am going to show you the 47A but I am not going to throw my phone in the 47A. I'm going to throw it in the 10B. I never really mess with the newer versions of the LG G3. The Road Warrior said something like, if I took the OTAs and I have to do that one method to downgrade it. But with me, if I'm doing KDZ, I can use all of them. Um, just for safety reasons for your phones, I would recommend if you're going to do the 47A. If you've been jumping around KDZ to KDZ and don't take the OTA, then you can use any KDZ as far as I understand. So I'm going to do the 10B, do the full process, and then uh, you guys do the same thing but with the 47A. So when you're in this tool here, you go wherever your 47A is. And the reason why I'm showing you guys this is so you guys don't get thrown off with this long name of a file. Like, uh, you've done this, but we don't see you do this. Just select it. Me and the other hand, I am going to do 10B. And then we're going to click on CSE Flash. Then we're going to click on Start. Your Windows may prompt you. So say yes. You'll get this window pop up. Oh, that was a step I missed. Oops. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Because in the, the, in the description I said press start, leave everything alone. Apparently, I forgot about this small window here. Just press OK. And right now, my thing's coming in English. But if you just first time install the tool here it'll come out looking like this a bunch of those everywhere I don't know why it just does that and you may get a first box pop up you see a bunch of question marks there if it comes in English just press OK and then leave it alone leave everything alone let it do its thing so, we'll see if my phone... Yep, it's going right now. So, all you gotta do is just sit back and enjoy. 
I'll show you guys the downgrade process and if you have problems with 47A, I'll redo the video if I have to to show you a 47A uh, return to stock progress. So I will be right back. Alright, so whenever your phone is going through its thing here, you get the LG logo, you get the uh, Android looking guy with his chest open. Like, can we see any Android boobs? Or is that his boob in there? Just that blue diamond looking thing. But yeah, I'm just showing you I did downgrade it to my phone. Well, not downgrade it, but return it back to stock. In fact, it was in stock in the first place. I haven't thrown any ROMs on here. But I will do all that work again for that... Uh, uh, super user TWRP, but it ain't gonna be no pain in the butt. I'll just restore everything back the way it was. And um, this tool here, it should crash. If it crashes, don't worry about it. Close it out. For some reason, it doesn't want to crash on me anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna close it now. You mad, bro? Hey, you fucking mad? Yeah, I'm talking to you. you fucking mad, bro? All right, so there you go. So I'm just gonna reboot after I went to the activation screen, and then there you go. That's how you return your phone back to stock. So I really hope that this video helped all you guys. And if you guys had any, have any more questions about the G3, the LG V10, probably you got this Windows phone here. You might want to know a few things about maybe I could try. Other than don't ask me to jailbreak it because I can't find any information about it. Nobody will answer my question about it. Uh, but any other questions, feel free to ask and I will go ahead and do my best to do them. So you guys have a good one. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.